Well, my name is Jackie Thomas Swanson. I'm Wasco on my father's side and Muckleshoot on my mother's side. I refer to myself as ancient Duwamish. I felt like my ancestors were pretty practical. The whole communities were practical. They could see the writing on the wall. They had known what had happened in the west and further east. And so I felt that they were much more pragmatic in their approach to working with these new people. I feel like they approach things from a survival standpoint, that they could see into the future and they knew that yes, they could go down fighting, but at the same time, there wouldn't be any people to follow them. Cheshi Ahud, or as my family calls him, Lake John, was one of the last Indians to have full-time residence in what is now known as Seattle. I knew our family had roots in Lake Union, and when I found out that Lake John's homestead was on the opposite side of where my great-grandmother was born, it reinforced what the family history that I'd been getting from my mother. I'd heard so much about Jenny Davis, Cheshiahood's daughter, that I didn't realize how significant Cheshiahood or Lake John was to the development of Seattle as a community. The knowledge I've gathered is that he was a great diplomat and that he was a liaison. He didn't find it hard to work with his people as well as the newcomers. I think that Lake John or Cheshiahood was able to remain in the land as long as he did because he adapted to change because he had a family to support. He saw opportunities to make money by being a guide, especially a water guide. You know, there's so much water in this area. And given that, you know, he had the knowledge of canoe making and that that was a mode of transportation, not only on the salt water, but on the rivers, he used that knowledge to his advantage. The friendship he had with David Denny David Denny took the time to learn the language of the people around here. And so he became bilingual just as Cheshiahu did. And I think what happened is that David Denny could understand our worldview just as Lake John got a better understanding of the pioneers' worldview. When I went to visit Lake John's grave or Cheshiahu's grave up at Washelli, I was told that cemeteries were segregated in Seattle up until the mid-60s, and um, that he actually shouldn't have been buried there. But David Denny went against the grain of everybody and made sure that his friend, Cheshiahud, had a place to be buried in his homeland with his first wife, Luciani. I mean, that says volumes to me. There was enough of a respect for Cheshiahud that they just kind of bypassed that prejudice and said, okay, you can be here, and there was nothing wrong with it. I'm proud of Cheshire Food. I don't think I've heard anybody talk about him as a sellout, for instance. I haven't heard my people refer to him as a sellout. You know, he must have had the viewpoint of my glasses half full. He was in that quandary that I'm in now. You know that all of us are, that are bicultural, is how much of should I give up? so I can survive in another world. He found a way to compromise within himself and accept it, I think, and accept the best of both worlds. <laughs>